morning, Cadre. Uh, we're here today. We're going to do another Bad Blade review. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump right into that. Up today is for soap. I've been sticking with it ever since the last video I did every day using Chiseled Face Ghost Town Barber. Um, I don't know if it's going to turn into a 3017 like some of the other guys are doing with some other soaps, but I'm at least continuing to use it. So I've got the aftershave. And I've got the EDT that I've been finishing it up with, or EDP, I should say, it's an EDP strength. Um, and the shapes have been good. Um, and then I also have my uh, Wolf Whiskers with an NV knot in it. So that's the brush that was grabbed today. Really the only thing that's changed in my shaves since the last time has been the brush day to day. I continue to use that Gillette, um, Perma Sharp 7 o'clock green blade every day, and it was great from the first time I used it to the last time I used it. The only reason I put it in the bin is because we're reviewing a new blade today, and that blade is, this one came from Tri-Blade, it is the Viking Sword. So we will talk about this one as we get going. Let's load it up real quick into the Timeless. This Timeless is a 0.68 gap for those of you that might be watching one of these episodes and not have heard that from the past. So here we go. It says super stainless steel polymer coated. Load that on up. And what I find interesting is always on these labels, what some companies write that you should do. According to this one, do not wipe, just rinse and shake dry. Some say don't shake, every one of them is different, so I don't know. All I do for my blades when I'm done with them is I take them out, I put it in between a clean towel, and I just press it, get all the water off, and then I set it over here, as you can see in my corner, next to a dice. Pretty simple. All right, I'm gonna pause you guys. I'm gonna build my lather and we'll be right back and to continue on the shave and discuss some discussion of this blade. Okay, so quick plug. I've been using this too. The frost drops from Sterling. Put a couple tups, drops on this before I lather up and it makes any soap kind of a cold soap. Now I love it because you get to control the intensity. All right, so let's jump into this. So. Uh, First of all, I just want to add a little bit of a disclaimer. There are two kinds of Viking blades out there. There is the Viking sword, and then there's Vikings blades. Vikings blades you'll find on Amazon anywhere if you search this. Um, and what they are is it's like a third-party company that makes a, a DE razor and a brush, and they've went and found a company to brand their brand some blades for them. And this is what they made. Um, this blade is not that. I don't think I have one of those. I'd have to check. This um, is made by Persona. And I can already tell this blade is not as sharp and nor as smooth as the last one that was used. Um, but this is made in the Israeli plant. We've talked about Persona a lot. They make a lot of blades. They have some here in the United States. Uh, plant here in the United States, I mean, excuse me. And one in Israel. Um, so this is the one from Israel. So we kind of went over one of my, my next talking point was don't confuse with the other Viking blades. So we, we started with that. So it threw me off a bit. Sorry about that. Um, it is stainless steel, like we obviously talked about, but it has a polymer coating. What's interesting is, is that I couldn't find anywhere to like tell me what is that polymer. Like, you know, so that just means polymer means we've got a combination of items together that they're coating on this blade. I don't know what it is. So, 
it, it's it's mellowed out after a few passes. It's not as bad. <laughs> yeah, the kids are right there. We're letting them watch a show real quick this morning before we get ready for church and head out. And I've got to go out and snow blow, remove some snow. All right, so it's hard to say with this blade. I will say though, one thing that I did notice with, with my researches is that it appears, at first I was thinking maybe this blade's been discontinued. I don't think it has just because of finding third party sellers on um, eBay that are willing to drop ship them from over there. So from my understanding is, is that the Israeli red that we refer to it as the persona, that is what appears to be persona's blade that they kind of distribute amongst themselves, uh, distribute outside, right? They come to the United States, they go to wherever. These blades, from what I'm finding, and again, this is just my theory, is, is that these tend to be kind of more of like a proprietary blade that they only really distribute there. I'm not really finding them very easy to get here. Um, and that will affect the pricing as well. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. So, But the grand scheme here is, is that there's really not a lot on this blade. And we've found that out with quite a few blades, actually, if, as you go back and if you watch some of the videos or read some of the comments. Sometimes there's not a lot out there on these blades. So, I'm going to pause you guys real quickly, rinse, come back for the second pass, and we'll, we'll close this up. Okay, we're back. Um, let's jump into the second pass. You know, one of the things I wanted to just kind of mention from about Persona as a whole, I like that they have a plant here in the United States and they make blades here, but I'll be honest, there isn't really a Persona blade that I'm like, this is the one. I haven't really had that yet. I personally don't think Persona blades are all that good. I don't think they're really that sharp. I don't think they're that smooth. I used to really like the blues when I first started out, I think for that reason. But, I mean, you just don't get as close as you can with some other blades and DEs. I'm, just, I'm not a big fan of Personas. They're usually not necessarily bad, and I don't think that this blade is bad, but they get ranked pretty low within my good category to where that, like, if I received a five pack, I'd probably use them. But if somebody sent me, like, a hundred pack or something like that, I'd probably piss it away. They're just not that good. They're consistent. You know, each blade is what it is. You get what it is. So, um, so pricing. Like I said, first I was thinking they didn't sell these anymore. That it was a discontinued blade. Then I found a bunch on eBay, found it on Amazon finally, and couldn't find it in any other shaving site. So if you really want to buy these blades and try a different type of Persona blade out, you can buy these on Amazon for $16.95 for $100, which equates to roughly $0.17 cents a blade. But, if I remember correctly, they are, it does state that they're coming from overseas, so it will take longer to ship. So, take it for what it's worth. Um, personally, I think that there are more easily accessible blades out there. I don't think that you need to do this blade. Um, but it's not a bad blade. This would be probably a really good blade for a beginner, in my opinion, you know, because it's not that sharp. It's not going to really hurt you. Um, it, but it is effective. You know, like I did get a pretty decently close shave. So I'm going to pause you guys, rinse, and we'll come back for post-shave and very final thoughts. Okay, so I've applied my uh, Lucky Tiger um, aftershave and face tonic real quickly. Um, everything felt fine, no nicks, no um, irritation from that, obviously. Um, this blade overall, in my opinion, at $16.95 for a 100-pack, you know, it's an okay blade. From what I've read, they are fairly consistent amongst users. 
Um, everyone kind of agrees they're a mild but smooth blade. It is effective. Probably a good blade to offer to a new person. So I will give it one more use before I offer up the final rating. So you will have to read it at theshavingcadre.com to get the final rating. Um, but I have a feeling it's going to be within that good category. I don't think it will bump down to bad. That is unless the shave tomorrow is really poor. And that means that you can only get one use from this blade. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, but we'll see. Overall, not bad. Okay, that's the shave. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to follow us at www.theshavingcadre.com. You can find this whole series and the discussions that happen afterwards um, within the DE section of the forum. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys on the pages. Bye, Cadre.